All right, going to do a real quick video here answering a question that I've been asked now a couple times. Why aren't you saying something about the Ken Hovind issue? Well, um, I really didn't think I needed to, to be quite frank. Um, Ken Hovind has been rebuked by myself, by a few others, and, um, and you know, I used to think very highly of the man, but then after realizing uh, the false teachings that he has said and, you know, you realize you start looking at, you know, I, I was watching some of his stuff, you know, after he got out of prison, and it's just like a lot of what he says, it's the same script that he was using in his creation seminar, and you start going, you know, you know, and he tries to actually exposit scripture uh, apart from his seminar thing, and you start going, man, this guy doesn't know the Bible very well. And um, it's very weird, and his connections and things, and, and uh, he's a crooked man. Um, but the scripture that was brought up to Kent Hovind about his divorce from his original wife, um, he just kind of skirted it and things. But let's, let's look at this. Matthew chapter 5, verse 32 says here, But I say unto you that whosoever shall put away his wife, saving for the cause of fornication, causeth her to commit adultery, and whosoever shall marry her that is divorced committeth adultery. So Kent Hovind's new bride-to-be, first of all, I didn't appreciate the fact that she's dressed like extremely immodestly, whole front open, you can see her bra straps for crying out loud, I mean, majorly immodestly, um, just ridiculous, but uh, she's divorced. All right, now I don't know the, the details of the situation, but, you know, all it claims, oh, it was a scriptural thing. Was it? I don't know. Did her husband commit adultery? Did he commit fornication with another woman? You know, I do believe that that's scriptural grounds for divorce because it says it right there. You know, uh, saving for the cause of fornication. So if you're married and your spouse, your significant other, commits fornication with somebody else, well, you can get divorced, scripturally speaking. All right, And I have a whole study on divorce, marriage, and remarriage. So I'm not going to get into it here. But the fact of the matter is, to my knowledge, uh, Ken Hovind's wife, from the stories I've heard, um, there was no fornication on her part. So Ken Hovind has no scriptural grounds to divorce his wife and then marries a woman that has divorced her husband. So it's, just, it's, it's this YouTube drama stuff, you know, Brother Brian, you got to say something about, well, you know, I've exposed the guy doctrinally. All right, so... It's not a real big shock to me that he comes out now and is just really messed up in his personal life. Uh, it's just going to get worse. Um, you know, but I'll go after somebody first and foremost on doctrine. That's what I do. So um, what's Ken Hovind doing? Well, he's pretty much proving what I said he was going to do. Uh, this land that he has, I believe he's going to create it into a survival retreat uh, for people enduring to the end in the time of Jacob's trouble, which... I think it's actually true for him and a lot of the people that uh, follow him. They are actually going to be enduring to the end. But uh, it is sick just to see him out there flaunting his you know, new wife and everything. And his divorce isn't even going through yet for his other wife. Like, okay. So that's why we as Christians have a hard time you know, convincing the lost world, hey, what he's doing over there, that's not us. We're against him too. But we need to have these standards. We need to have strong standards. So when a wolf creeps in among our midst and he gets spotted, we can say, whoa, that guy's a wolf. Get him out. Not keep him around and put up with him. All right. So that is my thing on Ken Hovind. He is in sin. Um, I don't believe he's a saved man. I did at one point in time, but after researching the guy and looking at a lot of his doctrinal stands it's just like ugh, you know I mean he's not just a little wrong he's very 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 majorly wrong so enough said on that issue I have more important things to do so that's all I'm going to say